Welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Stansport Para Multi Tool with Paracord Handle. So, at our last uh, camping experience, we bought a bundle of logs, a um, bundle of wood from the RV park. And as we were like trying to get our fire going, we didn't have any sticks. And I mentioned to my wife that we probably need a little hatchet to kind of cleave off the edge of the log to make kind of some sticks because where we were, it was built in the middle of a farm field. There aren't really any trees around to get sticks from the woods or anything. So uh, she gave me this for our anniversary. And I had another hatchet. This is an old uh, hickory handled hatchet I got when I was a kid. I paid five bucks for it. But I cracked the head here. I was using it like a wedge. So that was a bad idea. So we have this now. And I'll put a link in the description of this on Amazon. And if you buy one of these using that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So. This has a couple different features of it. It's a little kind of hatchet thing. It has a 10, 14, and 17, I think, millimeter uh, sockets on there, or wrenches. It has a cord cutter, and it looks like you could use that as a bottle opener too. And it comes with a flint igniter and 96 um, inches of paracord and steel construction. It also comes with a pouch here. So open this up. And here's the uh, hatchet. We can take this off here. So this looks like it has a pretty sharp blade here. So you could kind of use this as a knife too a little bit, I think, if you need to like cut something open. And uh, these wrenches could be useful in certain situations. Um, you know, I know 10 millimeters used a lot. That's used on like a lot of battery clamps, but you're not gonna get this on a battery clamp at that angle. And then this is a little cord cutter. And in the video they have on Amazon, they show someone using it like this to um, do sparks. But this has kind of a coating on it. Looks like maybe this does too. So I'm not gonna use this to start fires. I have a lighter to do that. But um, also the paracord here is part of your cushioning on your handle. So it's not like you're gonna take this off if you need like a foot of paracord just to like tie up something small. But in an emergency situation, you might need that and you can still use this if you take the paracord off. And it looks like you could easily uh, rewrap this. Um, it looks like they just make a loop here and they twist it and go back and forth to either side. So you could rewrap this uh, with paracord if you did take that off and use it. So it comes with this rubber here to cover the blade like that. And then it also comes with this holster. So you can stick it in here. I guess you can yeah, stick it in there and then uh, put this on your belt so you can carry this with you. So one thing I like about this over the uh, the old one here is you can tell this is a lot smaller. So this is a lot easier to pack in with our gear because we're not gonna, I'm not going to use a hatchet very often. I mean I have a little pruning saw I take with us camping so if I want to cut a small stick but this would be good for you know, small chopping, uh, things like that. And it takes up very little room compared to this big thing. And I don't know, I might take this with me just to uh, mess with it. I've never even started a fire with one of these, but and you can see how thick it is here. Let me measure this with my calipers. So this looks like it's three and a half millimeters thick. So that's pretty much all I have on this. I can't really demonstrate its use because I don't have any uh, wood here that I can use to cut this. I have some like construction wood or like some oak that's uh, kiln dried and that's really hard to cut through. Um, but uh, I think that'll be a nice addition to our camp box and it'll come in handy when we need to uh, split some wood. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.